what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here this will be a review for from season three from season three is supposed to debut next sunday i believe but at this point i've already seen four episodes so if i have seen any more you'll probably see another review uploaded this week but from season three is following after the events of season two in the wake of season two's epic cliffhanger escape will become a tantalizing and very real possibility as the true nature of the town comes into focus and the townspeople go on offense against the myriad horrors surrounding them now i am happy to say that from season three is another compelling season that is doing a better job at balancing building on its mystery giving answers and exploring the characters we've all come to love as opposed to last season which was more interesting in exploring characters while questions that just kept piling to the point where it was getting frustrating the story picks up immediately where season two concluded tabitha tries to find ways to get back to her family while learning how others have reacted to her jim ethan and julie's disappearance as well as discovering answers that might be useful to those still trapped in what i call fromville Jim, Julie, and Ethan try to hold themselves together back in Frumville, but Ethan is prepared for the reality that his mother is dead. Episodes 1 through 4 truly don't waste time delivering the goods. If you want to know more about Victor and Miranda, that's coming. If you want to know, or Boyd is facing a new challenge as he believes this place can't break him. The creatures intend to put that theory to the test. So far, the result of this has led to a rather interesting arc for Boyd. I'm doubting his ability to lead think rationally plan and execute accordingly to keep the town safe because his emotions and guilt are getting the better of him granted this was all triggered by an unfortunate event that occurs during the premiere episode another engaging aspect of boyd's arc this season is what he has planned early on it places me as a viewer in this situation where i'm thinking yes i want answers but i also don't want to lose boyd or anyone that i love on this show in the process i just love how the series is asking me how badly do we want these answers or how badly do i want these answers and what am i willing to sacrifice to get them in terms of scares season three isn't holding back i'm still not over the ending of episode one which is both disturbing and heartbreaking the creatures remain menacing when they are on screen and our lack of knowledge on them continues to enhance the terror we feel whenever they appear the look of course still is very creepy very intimidating and at times it also looks like I don't know why, but at times it just looks like some sort of old one from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. For any of you familiar with Buffy Season 7, you know what I'm talking about. The writers continue to excel at teasing us. There's some big connections about the town Tabitha's in and Frumville revealed during these first four episodes. And just when an answer is in our grasp, we're forced to wait a bit longer. As for the newcomers, Henry, played by Robert Joy, I think henry was his name is the standout so far he's not the most likable at first but his time with tabitha quickly fixes this all in all the writing this season is better sure some characters feel underutilized at the moment but finding that balance between engaging drama and further solving this mystery is what i believe was missing during season two which isn't bad but this season here so far has reminded me of why i got so invested to begin with during season one so i'm hoping this continues during episodes five through ten season three gives the returning star some heavy emotional arcs more specifically kenny and fatima with kenny and his mother taking the cake here all of which are held together by the wonderful performances kenny's situation is so relatable and the way the actor is dealing with it is making the situation that much more engaging and i just want to give him the biggest hug right now it's, it's, it's just a lot going on with kenny this season trust me and when I when it comes to the other people, when in the returning stars, I will just say there's a lot of breakdowns with people this season. It just feels like that's the best way to describe it. Several characters seem to be walking on thin ice when it comes to their sanity. And I'm just hoping they can stay strong. But I'm invested in how we are seeing this place break not only Boyd, but everyone else around Boyd as well, because their sanity seems to be going out the window with each passing second julie is another character who's a standout this season so far so keep your eye out for her i won't go into too many specifics there but the dialogue continues to be great the threats presented in the story continue to be great fatima's pregnancy continues to help raise the stakes presented in season three as well especially considering that ellis is trying to maintain his father's sanity while also having to grapple with the fact that he's about to be a father Fatima herself isn't in the best state of mind. She's a bit off her rocker. You'll see what I'm talking about. She seems to have some new weird addictions to her own story this season. It's just a lot going on. 
that I am thoroughly much more invested in compared to what we have in season two. And it's all because, again, we already like these characters. Now we have some character drama that is far more compelling and also combined and intertwined with the mystery that's being solved slowly but surely. Harold Perrineau continues to be a standout amongst the cast members. The emotional frustration on display at the start of the season shifted something inside of me. I felt Boyd's pain, his anger, frustration, and his sadness. Every cast member continues to be tremendous in their role. Their ability to sell the severity of the situation they've been stuck in for so long keeps me engaged as a viewer and eager to see them get home, despite us knowing that, of course, not all of them are going to make it out. Now, in terms of the pacing... I think the show is doing a much better job at pacing itself this season. Again, when it comes to finding those pockets of drama and then the pockets of answers or pockets of time to give us answers, there's a perfect balance of that this season. It's not just these prolonged sequences of people loving on one another or prolonged sequences of someone crying about something. Everything so far feels like it is at a steady pace that is equally engaging, gripping, and keeping me on the edge the entire time everything serves a purpose it doesn't feel like it's again just a season dedicated to exploring the depths of these characters while we're just piling on questions yes there are questions piling but i'm also chipping away further at uncovering what is happening so while i'm having the time with my characters now it feels good in ways that it didn't feel good during season two because season two was just too much character drama for me Season three is doing a much better job, again, at balancing drama and unpacking this mystery a bit further. So hats off to season three so far. Keep it up. So far, I would give this season a solid 6.5 out of 10, and I'm sure I'm going to boost it up higher. It, I just want to finish the rest of the season. But you guys can let me know what you think about my thoughts on From Season 3 down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.